I felt called to speak about the in-between, the not quite, the yes but, the maybe, the how come, the if, the if so when, the not yet there, and also not here, not in the past, not in the future, this in-between limbo and balancing of what is without and what will be when, and what it means to be in this space of now, regardless of if we know where we are going knowing that we are no longer where we once were, how we once were. And this period of time in which we find ourselves floating in the abyss of this uncertainty that can feel largely discomforting. I have found myself in and out of this space throughout the past two years of my life. I'm no stranger to the sentiment and I've had to become a very good friend of it, in fact. And that's not to say that I don't have moments of overwhelming existential thoughts that consume me because they do. I often ask myself, who am I? Why am I? Where did I come from? If I'm here, why? If I'm there, why? Is it so necessary that I stay? If yes, why? And if so, how? And this existence, it's quite mind-boggling when you really think about it. Um, sometimes I wake up in the morning and I think nothing of it, like we all have. And other days I wake up in the morning and I think to myself, wow, I continue to be here. The sun continues to rise. And it can be very scary, very frightening to accept the in-between. So many of us, myself included, are so eager to arrive at this destination of knowing when in reality what we all really want to our deepest depths is to feel a sense of peace. That's what we really want. Any one thing that me that we may say we want any one person, any one place, um, any one achievement or success or title, whatever it may be, what we really want deep down, truly, really to our core is to feel a sense of belonging. And even more so than that, a sense of belonging um, in peace. You know, like the assurance that we can have our peace and we can belong there too. That's what we're searching for ultimately. But peace isn't about searching, it's about being. And I often have to remind myself that I am not going to feel at peace over there or once I arrive at this destination or once I check this off of my list or once I become more of this and less of that and learn more about this and can speak on more of that, it's right here. It's right now where I can find that true sense of belonging because the reality of the matter is that now is all that we have. The future is a mere projection of our expectations 
and our dreams and our desires for this world. And the past is a compilation of our memories. And usually, more often than not actually, those memories um, are memories that we have twisted and shaped um, in a way that speaks to us within the present moment. So more often than not, we're not remembering things as they were. We're remembering them as we wanted them to be. And the future, you know, there's a lot to be said about the future. And at the same time, there's nothing at all to be said about the future because it doesn't exist. And if it does, it's also a part of the now because we live in this this 3D plane where we see time as linear, but in reality, everything is happening all at once. And so our seven-year-old self is a part of us in the now. Our 55-year-old self is a part of us now. We are just a different extension and expression of that divine essence. And they all exist symbiotically and so it's it's so funny when we get so caught up in in what's going to happen next or what we should do next or um you know like i recently moved to a new place and i've been living there for three months now and i'm already kind of like all right what's next now that i'm here now what you know and I think it's so important to change that perspective and change that narrative to now what to now is. Now is. Because there's, there's an infinite amount of possibilities for the what and the how. And those things will unravel naturally as time goes on. Um, there is divine order. I believe that there is at least. I believe that there is divine order. I believe that there is divine timing. And yes, we have free will. And what a glorious gift it is to be able to choose our path. Um, if you are privileged enough to do so, if you are privileged enough to choose for yourself. Um, I remember once I made this move to this new place, the thing that was at the forefront of my mind was self-autonomy, being able to choose to be independent within this world and to be able to make my own choices. That's what I wanted the most. Um, I remember past me um, thinking to herself, I don't care what happens next as long as whatever it is that I end up doing, however it is that I end up living, I want it to be my choice, even if it's not exciting, even if it's not thrilling. And then what happened? Once I finally attained this thing that I wanted so badly, which was to move, the idea of now what came and joined the party. And I've learned to sit next to the now what. And you know, sometimes we converse and sometimes we talk about what could be and what we might want to come about out of this experience. But at the end of the day, I don't know. Sure, we can dream and we can plan and, and we can um, set goals for ourselves and live our lives with intent and purpose. But now is the most divine and sacred thing because It's the only thing that we cannot get back. You know? Money, um, experiences, places, you know, those, those are special too. But they end up coming around in their own time in different ways, in different spaces. Um, everything has its place in this world. It's time. 
Um, but the now is something that only exists now. And um, you know that famous saying that, that says, uh, life is what happens when you're busy making other plans. Well, um, as cliche as it may be, um, I think it's a cliche for a reason because this is our lives. This moment right now, this is life. You know, it's not, life is not something to be found on the other side of tomorrow or in the depths of your past. You know, what has happened has happened. What will happen will happen. But for here and for now, we have here and now. And what a beautiful thing it would be to allow that to be enough. That's all.